Good morning, really super early morning. Allie has her snazzy little outfit again. Look at that, always looking snazzy. Riding in style. Hell yeah. <laughs> On my way to Stanford, San Francisco. We're gonna play at the college, which is cool because I've never been to that campus. Kind of interested uh, to see what it's like. It's so early. You'd think I'd be used to this, but I'm not. I'm still not used to it. I'm making a new rule. The day, day before I ever have to fly out anywhere, I am not allowed to drink any coffee. Any coffee. If I tweet about wanting coffee the day before a show, say no. All of you should at reply no because. I couldn't sleep. I fell asleep at like 4.30 and I had to get up at 6. So no coffee the day before. Help me out. We haven't seen him in a while. Where is he? Here, Teddy, Teddy. Oh, there he is. Sup, Ted. You're an emoji now on the iPhone. Good old Ted. Always swimming around. Sup, buddy. Oh, now it is time to pass the F out. okay Zoe because I totally know it wasn't you last night well I guess technically this morning yeah I found when I came home from dropping Charles off at the airport a giant mess of garbage all over my kitchen floor that my dog apparently thought was hers to rummage through and this morning just even more of a confirmation that it was definitely Marley and not Zoe is the fact that she has a spot of sauce in between her eyes on her face there's no escaping it now dog it's totally you She's like, I don't care, I ate some good food. You ass. I'm officially annoyed. I went to Walmart, the bane of my existence, but I had to go to grab a couple of things. Um, I decided to help my mom out today. My brother is using my mom's car because his car is having trouble. Blah, 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 long story short, we have to go to Walmart, and it's raining right now. Like, it's, the sky's about to open up, and Summer was so specific about not getting my hair wet. So like, now I can't do anything. I can't go outside, because if I get my hair wet, it ruins the whole thing. Damn it. This is ridiculous. Now, instead of feeling like a dirty hippie, I feel like I'm like a confined weirdo. Like I can't do normal people things because I'm protecting my hair. It seems so stupid. Oh my hair, I can't get it wet. <laughs> now I actually have a real valid reason not to though. The ugly muffin. Remember yesterday I cut my, my finger? It's still like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just realized um, I was practicing just, you know, like air, air strumming, I guess. And I realized I hold my pick with that finger. And every time I do this, it like really hurts. Should make for an interesting show. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Danny's not having a very good day. He was supposed to be in first class and he got bumped. So <laughs> I had the stewardess give him the wings. So they still give them to you. There you go. You can fly the plane now. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping and uh, the stewardess lady comes up to me, she's like, sir, uh, are you alright? I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, you're bleeding all over the place. I'm like, yeah, like this. I was bleeding all over. Where are your wings? Where am I underneath? <laughs> that is not... <laughs> so for everyone out in the uh, internet world that said they still, uh, still give them out, you were correct. Uh, I just simply asked the lady to give it to Danny since uh, he was having a bad day a from Hunter Act. You like it? It's a big boy now. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> we just landed here in San Francisco and then we just got a bunch of texts from Trav and uh, Brian. Apparently their United flight has been post like delayed. Um, then they got canceled and then they couldn't get on the standby flight, so. <laughs> we'll see if there's a show, I guess. Uh, I forgot how much I like San Francisco. Such nice weather. Yay! Scratch around in Grandpa's freshly cut grass. <laughs> Pee in Grandpa's freshly cut grass. Probably poop in Grandpa's freshly cut grass. They seriously love this yard. We were considering like doing our grass like this just because of how much the dogs love it. That's how much we appease the dogs. That's how much we like do whatever the dogs want and say for us to do because they're such brats. They're like spoiled beyond belief. But it's okay because they're like 99.9% .9 of our entertainment on a day-to-day -day basis, so. 
and your guys too, I hope. I hope you guys think they're funny. I think these dogs, I don't know what it is about them, but they're like, they have some of the weirdest personalities. They have just personalities, period. Like I've, I've known plenty of dogs who are great dogs, but like they were just dogs. They just didn't seem that much like they had a lot going on, but these dogs are like people <laughs> and they're ridiculous. You are not supposed to be eating that. Dennis is gonna be pissed. She just like dug through a whole thing of mulch. My dad just neatly laid it out and picked up one piece that she liked out of all of it. Okay, she dropped it. Isn't this what gave you all those allergies in the first place? Get your ass out of the grass. No, this is Get good your grass. ass out of the grass. This is good grass. She looks so much thinner. It's the grandma's grass. Because daddy's been uh, running her. She looks so much better. Charles has been taking him out on runs like every Maybe single day. I. You want to know something, Yoshi? This is the first time I've ever actually been to In-N-Out Burger. This is the first time. Really? This is it? This is it. This is the first. This is the first, Colesby. You know you guys have a song called In-N-Out. Yeah, I know. That's why I feel like a hypocrite here. So at the recommendation of everyone, I went with the, what was it, Double Double? Double Double Animal Style. I feel like this is kind of exciting. 28 years old, I'm experiencing something for the first time right now. All right, I think I'm gonna regret this almost immediately. A double Double Double. <laughs> yep, I have heartburn. Yeah, this is cool. So we just got at the Stanford. Pretty excited. I'm not sure if you guys know the Get Up Kids, uh, the CD, the album CD, uh, the cover is uh, called, I think, Guilt Show. If you just step back, it looks just like this. Make it sound like feedback. <laughs> Jerry, I told you to fix the mic. <laughs> not as cool as I thought. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know, I'm just like, just jumping over my hand, but now it's just like a big grab. <laughs> Come on, Colesby. Oh, we made it! Welcome to the game. Yeah. In sandals. Oh, the game. We're going for it. We're going for it. So, with our traditional around the world, but it's, it's kind of funny. We're doing a round the world basketball game around the world. Nice. Ah, but see, the problem with it is that we have three people that have like are very stubborn with the game and we keep doing chances so we keep starting over and over again this game should be over we have no strategy Eric's Colesby's gonna go now oh, no. hey guys hey guys can you maybe just open the door because it's like right there and I could totally just get out it's pretty easy actually there's no way no way I'm letting that cat out I don't trust her no hey way. shirt no way no way you think you gotta go in no bossa way. nova no way Love it! Go buy some t-shirts, yo! I don't know why I'm talking like that, just... Just... You should probably just ignore like 90% of what I say. Especially the part where I make up percentages about stuff. Because I've done that twice now in like two minutes. Mama never find me in here. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. So apparently that's a freshman tradition. They just go belly flop in the fountain. Sir, could you please? <laughs> We're gonna go see if we can find one of the uh, school stores. Maybe we can rock a Stanford shirt today. Don't change your channel, folks. Brought to you by the public library. Now, the birds of Stanford. <laughs> the Cedar Waxwing. These birds are named different. Wait, are you changing the channel? We're gonna play a game called What Is This? What would you guys say this is or represents? Tell me in the comments. Because I have no idea. I got an email yesterday. Uh, do you guys remember uh, a couple, I guess it was a couple months ago, it was like in August, I was talking to you guys about that website, Opinion Outpost, uh, where you can like do all these surveys, you get paid, you get to do like trials of cool products and stuff like that, and I was telling you guys about my um, awesome experiences uh, when I was a telemarketer. Well, I got an email from them, and they were just saying how much they love the CTFXE and how you guys are just like killing it on the site, 
And I've actually been getting a lot of like at replies from you guys saying how uh, it's been working for you guys. And I should I acknowledge the fact that I just did that so smooth, right? But a lot of you guys have been um, at replying to me saying you guys have had a lot of fun on the site. You know, been doing surveys, getting some extra cash, and uh, checking out the, like new products. I just wanted to let you guys know it's legit. You know, check out some products before they're out and stuff like that. Uh, sign up, it's free. Links down there, top of the description. They just were. <laughs> They were saying how awesome the CTFXC was, and you know, I thought I'd uh, let you guys know if you guys didn't know again. I gotta go do that again. I can't. That was perfect rails. What? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. I need to go sit down before I break my ass. Half court. Did you fart? <laughs> First person who makes it gets five bucks. Did I go in? I, I was looking through the. I was, I don't think we're ever going to make this. So close. So close. Yeah! <laughs> Do you accept PayPal? <laughs> I am uh, tired. Oh, Does anybody want to rematch and try to tie it up? When you're always sad, Mr. Peter Face. Oh God. <laughs> what? Was this song over? <laughs> Calling out to anyone at the Stanford show. Okay, uh, Danny, do you want to do the impression of me? We have a giant drum riser, probably tall, twice this, okay? So in Skyway, tall. it was really tall. I barely made it on a uh, sound check. So this is gonna be Danny as me trying to jump up during the bridge of Skyway, okay? <laughs> but, but then, then I recovered. I, kind of, I recovered. First time in a year I fell completely on my ass. So if anyone's at Stanford uh, that was at the show, you have the video, please at reply uh, me a lot of times uh, on Twitter. I would love to, I would put it in the vlog. I am not embarrassed. <laughs> but it was really funny. You were so scared for like three seconds, like you fell and you're like. <laughs> Hi, I'm Taylor. Hi, Ollie. No, I'm not playing. I have an idea for what my mom and I can do on this rainy night. No. So we're watching my friend Ben Hughes, obviously Ben Hughes play Slender, and he has no idea what's going on in the game. My mom has never seen it. She's seen our video, but she's never played through the game, so she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't listen to me freak out what happens in the game, so I'm gonna make her play it. Big time bummer. I couldn't download it because my mom's computer is a POS Thank and God. it wouldn't run. <laughs> Thank God. You got off the hook this time, lady. Not so forever. Not so. Well, we are at the hotel. We have three hours, four hours of sleep, and then we have to. Oh. Taco Bell. Yeah, we got Taco Bell. Remember, I was there eating. I was eating well. I was eating better. Yeah, eat, I ate what In and Out, Animal Style, and now some T Bell. But it's fresco, so it's got no cheese, so it's better, I guess. I don't know. I forgot to tell you guys. Yeah, we're going back to Brazil. When is that? Wednesday, September 26th. Yes, we're going to Sao Paulo. I'm just following the burrito. Just go where it goes. Burrito. Charles Trippy and Allie Don't forget Zoe and Marley